What's up boys and girls? As you can see, I am on the CBR today. I'm heading over to the uh, inspection center to try and get my two-year inspection and new number plates. And uh, I think it'll be okay. There's two things that I need to hide, which I'm going to try and skillfully do, which is the rear... Uh, uh, there's no rear brake light switch attached to anything because the um, rear, what do you call it? Uh, I forgot in English again, in Japanese, back step. Rear sets, yes, the rear sets. Don't have a anywhere to attach the um, the spring for the brake light switch. So I've got to skillfully maneuver my body over the brake le front brake lever so they can't see me pull the brake lever while I press the rear brake pedal with my hand. So hopefully I can get away with that. And the second thing is the right fork is leaking oil. So basically just before the test I'm going to wipe that down. So hopefully they won't see. It's pretty tucked under there. You can't really see it because of the front fender. So I'm hoping that I'll get away with that too. But other than that, uh, yeah, I think it's basically road legal, road ready. GP shift is taking a bit of getting used to. I've been <laughs> I just stopped to the stop stopped to get some gas and I couldn't find neutral. I kept going the wrong way through the gearbox and I was like, oh fuck it. So I just <laughs> turned the engine off and then <laughs> found it while I was while the guy was filling it up. So yeah, that's gonna take a bit of getting used to, but it's fun anyway. GP shift's kinda of fun. And um when I said on the first ever first ever time I rode this I was kinda of saying how disappointed at how slow it was. I just sort of been paying attention to the speedo here and like it gets to you know it's like 60 miles an hour 100 kilometers an hour in just no time at all so as, as much as i thought it was slow i think it's just the lack of torque made me think it was slow but in actual fact it is fast so yeah that was um probably just me being used to a torquey twin like the mt07 and then jumping on a four and thinking what the hell but uh, yeah, I actually starting to starting to enjoy this engine a bit now. Uh, rear tires, well, all the tires are new, so it's pretty slippery at the minute. I should probably do some weaving to try and scrub them in a bit, but people will think I'm a dick if I do that. Go on, get out of the way, you cunt! Yeah, I mean, first gear will get to a hundred, so <laughs> yeah, I guess I was just my brain wasn't adjusted properly to um, a four but um, apart from that this is like the third time ever of riding this bike and I, I don't know it's the position is not really good for me I feel pretty cramped on this bike as as um, like the MT-07 was just physically so small this is a fairly small bike but I really do feel cramped like if I'm trying to tuck to get under the under the screen, like if I want to go do a top speed test or whatever, I don't think I'm going to fit, you know. So um, as much as I do like this bike, I'm not sure if it's really suitable for me. But anyway, today's mission is just to get the inspection done, and we can think about think about other things like buy new bikes afterwards so anyway it's a fairly boring journey to the uh, inspection center so maybe I'll see you guys there oh, fuck this all right boring fucking journey almost there sort of accident maybe right almost there so one thing I hadn't considered is um, I've had the fairing completely off right I've had the headlight apart so like I because I've been being anal I was cleaning inside like all the nooks and crannies and shit so headlight alignment is probably way off so um, just spoke to my friend and he told me there's um, 
a, like a pre-tester place right next door to the inspection center so I'm gonna drop by there and ask them to adjust the headlights for me make sure it's okay yeah this turn here not having a phone holder sucks uh, well luckily I know the way because I have to come here for work all the time but let's see if we can find this little tester place he said you go past the inspection center turn left and then turn left again he said on the right side there's like a, a badass car shop full of Lamborghinis and Ferraris and stuff and then it should just be there let's see if we can find it right ahead there the yellow building is uh, up garage like second hand second hand parts second they sell I, 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 totally kind of against this but they sell a shitload of second-hand helmets too Man, I don't know about you guys but I would never buy a second-hand helmet from the outside it might look okay but you can't tell what's happened on the inside like even just dropping it onto a wood floor or something so there's no scratches essentially can um, you know make make the inner the inner part the foam and the actual protective part are damaged and you wouldn't even be able to tell from looking from the outside so fuck that i'm never buying my, myself a second hand helmet right so uh maybe it's this place oh hello no but he said you go past an expensive car shop and then turn left where's the expensive car shop oh this looks like it Oh yeah, oh TVR, badass. Whoa, hell yeah. So, I uh, hear it is. Found it! Oh, here kinda. Maybe it's lunchtime. Oh. あの、ヘッドライトライメントを確認したい。はい。はい。Ima Low Beam. あざいます。あ、ね、ちょっと書いてあげといてください。あ、了解了解。あとはね、多分ここはできないけど、ブレーキスイッチはない。あの、ブラケットはないから。それなんかこういう、こういうやって大丈夫かな割れないかな。ああ
Where's my wallet? Here it is. Hi, Mars. Hi. Hate me seeing it. Hi, hey, hello to the Zaymas. Hi, Mr. Wow, yaba. Maji de. Ne ji. So na. Ai yo, ko tai da paru. Zaymas. Hey for me you can't. All right, here we are. See if there's any interesting bikes in the parking lot. Some pant wetting brutales or ah, nothing. What the hell? No bikes today. Well, it's actually not busy at all. Holy shit. Normally this place is fucking packed. Sweet, son, sweet. We can hopefully get this done in no time today. Normally coming here is a fucking nightmare. I have to come here for work all the time. I fucking hate it. Uh, bikes. Uh. Right then. Can I find neutral? No. Yes. Right, so inside that place there is where you do all the bullshit paperwork. And then over here is the actual testing station. I don't know if like, like in England we've got the MOT, it's kind of like that. But in Japan, you can only do it at this place. Like in this city, everyone in the whole city, which is millions of people, has to do their inspection here. Like in other countries, you can just go to your local garage or your local dealer and, and they'll do it for you. You can't. Here, there's only... Well, in this area, this is the whole of the city. And then outside the city, there's different ones in different towns and stuff like that. But yeah, coming here, usually it's freaking packed. But today, it's very quiet. So hopefully we'll be, get, be able to get this done in a couple of hours. So, I'll try and sneak the camera in while we're doing the test. See you guys in a bit. What's up guys? So, I realized the reason there was no one at the inspection centre is because it's lunchtime. The clock on the CBR is wrong. I thought it was only 11 o'clock. Actually, it was 12 o'clock. So, I stopped to get myself a McDonald's. In case you wonder what a Japanese McDonald's looks like. Grand Club House set. 790 yen. Alright, let's try the inspection centre again. Alright guys, just to give you an idea of how much of a hassle this is, I've just actually finished the test and it passed with flying colours, didn't get caught on anything. But this is the paperwork that's involved to get an inspection. Like, if you can't read Japanese, you're totally screwed. All this paperwork how many pages? Like 11 pages. <laughs> All of that just to get your inspection done. And that's the temporary number plate, which is a car number plate because they didn't have a bike size one. So, yeah, now I'm going to take all this paperwork inside and then hopefully I'll get my new number. Let's go inside. All right, boys and girls, so we are finished. Gotta take this, take this tape off the headlights. But yeah, we're done. Uh, Shaken, it's called inspection. So I've got two years from now. So nice shiny new number plate on the back. Don't really want to show you the number, so I have to edit that out. But yeah, we're basically road legal for two years now. Insurance is done. Everything's done. So time to uh, go and scrub these tires in a bit now. I think took like how long did it take I got here at, well I started at 1 o'clock it's now 2.30 so hour and a half in total pretty good so let's go and enjoy being legal see if I'm going to find somewhere interesting to take you guys 
When I find somewhere, I'll show it to you. For now, goodbye. Alright guys, so I just stopped at a cool little rest spot. I'm not sure it's the Shonai River as you can see there and there's a train coming past. Pretty cool. Little train, only three carriages. Must be a really local train. Yeah, you can see the city skyline over there. It looks pretty cool and judging by the sky over here, nice and blue, and the sky over here, grey as hell, I'm about to get wet. So I should probably make a move and get home. But anyway, now the tuning can begin. I'm not sure what's next, but I think I'm going to get some new clip-ons that are like an inch higher, just to get my body position a bit better. New grips, new winkers, because those factory ones are horrible. Tail tidy. Uh, what else? Maybe a taller screen as well, double bubble screen. And this seat is like really awful, like the material is all faded and I don't like the way it's so slippery. Like I guess if you're wearing leathers it's fine, but if you're wearing jeans like I do most of the time then it's just way too slippery and it's, it's just not, not comfortable. So new seat as well. So I think that this budget, <laughs> budget bike that it was has turned into an uh, expensive bike. But anyway. That seems to be the case with all projects. They start off nice and cheap in your brain, and then when you get your checkbook or your cash card out, it's not cheap. All right, guys, so I'll see you on the next episode. Ciao for now.